In today's video, I want to talk about another reason you may struggle with math that has nothing to do with you or translation. It's not your fault. So if you work with a teacher or a tutor, sometimes when they're describing a, a lesson or a concept, it just goes over your head. But then you can go to another teacher or a tutor, have them describe the same concept and it clicks instantly. I'm going to share one of the reasons why this may happen, and it may help you in the future if your teacher is just not connecting with you or a lesson that you're looking at online isn't, isn't registering. We all have what's called a preferred learning sense or a PLS. Now, in some prior videos where I talked about neuro-linguistic programming, we talked about the five senses, but I'm going to recap this for anybody who's new. We all process the world with five senses. We've got sight, which is visual. We've got hearing, which is auditory. We've got feeling, which is kinesthetic. We've got gustatory, is taste and we've got smell which is also called olfactory if we frame the world in, in this sense we have our five senses that we're picking up information so we go out into public maybe we're with our friends or maybe we're in the classroom the teachers talking they're presenting we're in the room we are picking up information and energy through these five senses now we all have a preferred sense or learning sense when we're learning math. Me, I love, I love auditory. I love podcasts. I like radio. When somebody's talking to me, or even if they're presenting at a board, I like to write things down and then talk it out in my head. That, that's just me. A lot of people I know are visual learners. They want to see pictures. They want to see images. They want to see nice graphics. Some people feel like my son he's five years old when he's playing a video game or he's reading a book you could see when he gets into the good parts he's you could see him feeling feeling by the way has to do with temperature pressure touch things like that we're going to ignore these two for the most part because math class these don't come in these don't come into play so i'm going to cross those out we're left with three we've got visual auditory kinesthetic the challenge for you in math class comes in here. If I'm an auditory learner and my teacher is showing a bunch of graphics but not explaining it right, I'm not going to connect with her and I may not learn as well because she's not talking out the lesson. And I prefer a voice. I prefer words. If you're a visual learner and somebody's just sitting at the front, your teacher, and they're just talking at you, blah, 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 blah equations, formulas, but there's really no drawings or no pictures or no graphs that you could follow, you are going to disconnect too. And then the third type of learner, and we see this sometimes with people that have uh, their neuro challenged is they're kinesthetic people. So you can get up at the board, you can have great visual, great auditory, you're a great presenter, but if you don't put some feeling behind it or emotion and I'm a kinesthetic learner, I'm not going to connect with you. I'm not going to learn. So for you, the, the watcher right now is figure out if you don't already know what kind of learner you are. So if you go back and look at some of your favorite videos, favorite lessons, uh, do you prefer podcasts, radio, audio? Do you prefer visual? Or are you more of like an emotional, emotionally charged person, person which would be kinesthetic? Once you identify which type you are, the next step is, can you either have your teacher, your tutor, tailor the lessons in your preferred learning sense, or can you find a resource online that does these? So I'll give you an example of how we conquered this, is we do an ACT, SAT mastery toolkit program for <clears throat> high schoolers. They're going to get ready to take the ACT and SAT to go to college. And when we designed this, we took this into account. We said there's three learning senses. How do we cover all three? Well, each lesson has audio only if you want. They have video with audio if you want. But there's also 
a life lesson behind it, which would engage the kinesthetic learners is what, what am I going to be using this for? When will I ever use algebra in the real world? And so if you give them that emotional jolt to the lesson, these people would connect with you as well. So if you don't know what type of learning you are, here's what you can do. If you record yourself in daily conversations, or maybe even have your parents or your friends pick up on this, you will give away clues in the words you use, and we call these predicates. So I'll write this down, predicates. Here's a way, and here's a way you could tell with me if you ever watch my videos, or if we've ever talked. I'm, I'm an aud big auditory guy. I hear what you're saying. Here's the clue here. Or I say this a lot. Sounds good. Sounds good. There's a couple clues. Or let's talk about this. Let's talk. That's audio. Visual learners tend to use a lot more words. Why? Because a picture is worth a thousand. That's right, a thousand words. Visual people will say, I see what you're saying. Or paint a picture. Or something with their eyes that they're picking up. I, I like the color or the context of that. It's very visual rich. And again, these people tend to use more words to describe their experience because like we said, a picture's worth a thousand words. Kinesthetics are more emotional. So we have temperature is one giveaway. They use language and pressure. They use language. They're very in the moment. They're not thinking in the future and they're not in the past. They're right now. So emotions are heavy with kinesthetic learners. So again, I'm going to close this video off with, if you don't know which type of preferred learning sense you are, have your friends pick up on your language or your parents or maybe record yourself and you'll start to see patterns. You may use combinations of these, but there's one that's going to stand out. And so with that, thank you for watching.